To be like Jesus, personal ministry is key to winning souls. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Mark 2, verse 3 to 5. There is need of coming close to the people by personal effort. If less time was given to sermonizing and more time was spent in personal ministry, greater result would be seen. The poor are to be relieved, the sick cared for, the sorrowing and the bereaved comforted, the ignorant instructed, the inexperienced counseled, we are to weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice. Accompanied by the power of persuasion, the power of prayer, the power of the love of God, this work will not, cannot be without fruit. We should ever remember that the object of the medical missionary work is to point sin sick men and women to the man of Calvary who take it away the sin of the world. By beholding him, they will be changed into his likeness. We are to encourage the sick and suffering to look to Jesus and live. Let the workers keep Christ, the great physician, constantly before those to whom disease of body and soul have brought discouragement. Encourage them to place themselves in the care of him who gave his life to make it possible for them to have life eternal. Talk of his love. Talk of his power to save. This is the high duty and precious privilege of the medical missionary. And personal ministry often prepares the way for this. God often reaches hearts through our efforts to relieve physical suffering. In almost every community, there are large numbers who do not listen to the preaching of God's word or attend any religious service. If they are reached by the gospel, it must be carried to their homes Often the relief of their physical need is the only avenue by which they can be approached. Missionary nurses who care for the sick and relieve the distress of the poor will find many opportunities to pray with them, to read to them from God's word, and to speak of the Savior. They can pray with and for the helpless ones who have not strength of will to control the appetites that passion has degraded. They can bring a ray of hope into the lives of the defeated and disheartened. Their unselfish love manifested in acts of disinterested kindness will make it easier for those suffering ones to believe in the love of Christ. To be like Jesus, September 15th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.